there's some did I get something on it already oh my goodness is it good are you good Hey guys, welcome back. So I got my June favorites here for you today. So I'm gonna do like I normally do. I will quickly run through my overall Friday favorites and then I'm gonna run through some other favorites. I've got some makeup y things, some skincare things, some body care things, and some fashion things. So lots of fun things, so let's get to it. For overall Friday favorites for eyes, I have to go with these two palettes. These are both so good, so fun, just awesome quality. The BH Cosmetics Aurora Lights palette. It is fun and colorful and creative and um, sparkly and just a happy good time. So I love that one for being creative and just having fun with makeup. This one is incredible quality. This is the Alamar Cosmetics. Um, what is this called? The Reina del Caribe palette. This is like summertime in a palette. It is so cute. I love the whole design of it. I love the color selection. The quality, like I said, is just like off the charts good. It is so, so good. So I love both of those. For cheeks, for highlighter, I was loving this little thing. Really just the Laura Geller um, Baked Gelato Illuminators in general. But this little palette is really, really good. This is the Life Glows On Illuminator palette. So you get Diamond Dust, which is like one of my very favorites. You get Opal Crush and French Fizz, which are two new ones. So I swatch all this stuff in Friday favorites, but this is definitely a standout favorite. For lips, gotta go with the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lips. I really, really like these. They are glossy and comfortable and hydrating on the lips. Just really, really nice. And then good old Rimmel Airy Fairy, which is what I have on my lips right now. It's just an awesome everyday lip color. I love it. This is also a Friday favorite slash overall monthly favorite. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Bronzer. So I was really wearing this as a bronzer, but then also as a blush bronzer. So that's why it's kind of like, it was a Friday favorite for like my blush that week, but also it's been a favorite all month for bronzer. It is just awesome. I mean, a beautiful bronzer color. It's so warm and um, I don't know. It's not orangey. It's more, it's like it's got that red kissed by the sun sort of a tint to it and it blends out really nicely. So it is just a beautiful formula, a beautiful color. I absolutely love it. So it has been my go-to bronzer all month. It's amazing. And a couple of makeup -y things and really these could be considered like skincare things too. These are just perfect for summertime. This is the e.l.f. Beauty Shield Antioxidant Enriched Skin Protection SPF 50 Skin Shielding Primer Universal Tint. And then this is the Arbon RE9 Advanced Prep Work Soft Focus Veil Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. So let me show you both of these. So I'm actually wearing this as my foundation today. And then I do have like, you know, concealer on to kind of perfect everything. But in essence, what both of these are, are sunscreens with some tint to them and a little bit of coverage to them. So that's why I say that these are perfect for summertime because if you're just running to, like I especially think if you're running to the pool or you're going on a beach vacation where you want, you know, a little bit, well, obviously you want SPF, you want sun protection, but maybe you want a little bit of like perfecting on your skin too. These are just great for that. So the Arbonne one is more, um, you can see it, it's more creamy and I wouldn't say liquidy, but just it's a thinner consistency. And this one has less coverage than the e.l.f. one. The e.l.f. one is more kind of almost moussey um, and more coverage to it. So it really kind of depends on what you're going for. If you want more coverage and more of kind of a satin matte, I would go with the e.l.f. But if you like that just kind of dewy, fresh looking face, um, not quite so matte, I would go with the Arbonne one. So both really, really nice. Same sort of concept as the It Cosmetics CC Cream. So that's like one of, I mean, that is my first skincare love. I love my It Cosmetics CC Cream, but that's quite a bit of coverage. So if you're wanting just super light coverage, you don't want to look like overdone or something, these are awesome. I think they're perfect for that. Okay, skincare. So I wanted to give you an update on this set. So I mentioned this last month and I said I was going through this system. This is the 
Beauty Bioscience R45 The Reversal Three Phase Skin Transforming Treatment. So there's the different phases and you kind of like build up, like you use each one for two weeks and then you switch to the next one. So I was in the middle of three last time I talked to you guys. Well, I moved on to the next phase, which is phase four, and I've gotten through that now. And now that I've used this one, love this system. I wasn't so sure at three, I was like, oh, I don't know. Like I was really seeing some differences at the beginning. And then it's like I hit a little bit of a lull. But once I got to phase four, I could definitely see differences. Like just in the smoothness of my skin, in the fine lines. I would really just say smoothness, like smooth, uh, perfected looking skin. Not perfect, but improved skin. I really, really could tell a difference. This one is called the R45 The Reversal Phase 4 Maximum Concentration Treatment. So obviously you have to build your way up to this one. So you have to do this system first, one, two, three, and then you can add on this one like this came as a set, but then you could like add on or like purchase separately the phase four. So that's like the next step. So anyway, use the phase four, loved it. It says designed for skin showing severe signs of aging, Meh. only for those who have recently completed phase one through three of the R45, the reversal. Maximum concentration of R45, the reversal, measuring in at 67% more concentrated than phase three. So this is like the intense one. Take skin to the ultimate destination, helping to erase the appearance of deepest lines, improve the darkest skin tone unevenness, and help constrict the look of enlarged pores. That totally makes sense because it just perfected the look of skin. Highly um, active blend of proprietary retinoid complex and advanced peptide technology to provide visible change. Combine both phases housed in separate containers. Oh, that's telling you how to use it. So it's got the, let me show it to you. I didn't even show it to you. Let you saw it in the other ones. So this one is a smaller bottle than these. So it's got the two different sides and you pump each one out and then use it on your skin. So I mainly concentrated it like here on my forehead and then around in here, which is where I get more of my pores. I'm seeing more of the fine lines. So that's really where I concentrated it because I was like, I mean, yes, I still blended it everywhere else, but I started it from there because I wanted the most concentration of product there because that's kind of like, you know, where I'm trying to address the most. So anywho, I just wanted to give you a follow up that I think this is awesome. I think it's a a system that you have to really stick with. It's kind of one of those kickstart your skin, um, wake it up sort of systems. So it's it's one of those you gotta stick with it and you really gotta be consistent. So I was really consistent and once I got to this, whoa, love, love it. It's awesome. I'm kind of sad that I'm through with it. Like I kinda, I think you can do this every so often but I, I believe you're supposed to wait in between because the idea is to kickstart your skin. So I'm gonna have to wait a little while and then I'll definitely do it again because it is awesome. And then I also use this this month. Of course, it's housed in its box as well because I just I keep everything in its boxes for some reason. This is the Derma E Advanced Peptides and Collagen Serum. This smells really good. It says, take a stand against wrinkles. This nourishing double action powerhouse serum is formulated with multi-peptides, Matrixyl Sin 6, and Arguline to help reduce the appearance of deep lines and wrinkles while plant extract Pycinogenol, a powerful antioxidant, may help support healthy collagen. Powerful anti-aging peptides with benefits, it goes over it, blah, blah, blah. Enriched with anti-aging antioxidants, vitamin C and green tea, this intense wrinkle fighting peptide infused formula promotes a more youthful looking complexion. Now I was using this in addition to this, but then like once I stopped using this, I kept using this. You're really not supposed to use this with, other, it says like pair it with your non anti-aging skincare because I think it can probably be too much for your skin. I didn't really like, I really wasn't comparing the ingredients. Now that I'm talking to you, I'm seeing well, it's kind of a, I probably shouldn't have been using this at the same time, but I did. And then I continued using it after I finished up that one. So anywho, I love Derma E. They really have some great skincare. It has this like nice, fresh, herbally scent. I mean, it's just the, the scent of like planty sort of ingredients. So it's got that planty 
sort of a smell to it, so I really like that. Um, very hydrating on the skin. It's a serum, so I mean, it's not like a heavy cream, but it just sinks into the skin, feels so nice. If you're trying to address um, aging, I think that this is a great line to look into, really in general. I mean, they just make great skincare, so I was using this this month and loving it. A couple of body care things, so I was using both of these this month. I use these in conjunction. I have literally mentioned this, I think, every single summer since I started my channel. This was in one of my very first favorites videos, monthly favorites videos, because I've loved it that long. This is the Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs Smooth On Perfect Legs in an Instant. And I like this one, the actual leg makeup that is the lotion versus the spray. I think this one is much easier to use, but it is super, super coverage. So it's like the most full coverage sort of foundation, basically. So I always use this in addition to something else. I mix it with something else. So either um, like the Bum Bum Cream or, or Boom Boom Cream or a different kind of lotion or something, but I've really been enjoying mixing it with this. This is the Josie Marin Whipped Argon Oil and this is in Pina Colada Paradise, but it's in the light bronze. So it has a little bit of like a an illumination to it, this one smells really good. I mean, it smells like pina colada, but it's got a little bit of glow to it. Let me see if I can put a little bit on my skin so you can see it. Now, I think some people will hate this because it does, like when you get out in the light, there's some like shimmer to it. I mean, it, it catches the light and makes your legs look a little bit shimmery, but mixed with the leg makeup, it really is like the perfect pairing because you've got that coverage to cover up um, sunless tanning mistakes or veins or a bruise or whatever. It just helps perfect everything. So these two together are just so pretty. Let me show you just a little, I'm not gonna show you the actual container because it is gross looking because I've had this one for a long time now. Let me get a little bit out here on my hand here. <laughs> I can't talk. Let me get a little bit on my hand so you can see it there. So that's what that looks like. And I use light. I have used fair before, but fair was more orangey. So I like light better. So anyway, just mixing them together. It just helps give the legs a little bit of color because I need some color. If I don't take the time to sunless tan, I like that I can give my legs a little bit of color. But then also with um, the Josie one, it gives it a little bit of a sheen too. So it's really, really pretty. So I really just use it on my legs. Occasionally I'll take a little bit of this up on my arms, um, but the leg makeup I just use on my legs only. So they're like the magic, nice combo for summery looking skin. And then lastly, I have some fashion favorites. So I have a couple of shoe favorites that I was loving this month. So first off, these are the Impo brand the style i think is teza and this is in the navy color these are the cutest wedges they're just so nautical looking to me that's why i love them so they come in this navy color and then they also let me show you the right way they come in a navy color and then they also come in a red color are they not adorable so they look super cute, but they're also super comfortable because this is stretchy here and this is stretchy and this is stretchy, especially right here. Like as you walk, it's, you know, you've got that give. So it's super duper comfortable on your foot and it's got some squish here. So I love the look of it and I love the comfort of it. So I was loving those wedges. They are adorable. So those are from Steinmart. So I will link those for you. And then this pair, oh my gosh, these are adorable. I got these at DSW. These are the Sam Edelman Abbeys. These are so cute. I got these on clearance. Are those not so cute? So if you follow me, especially on Instagram, you know that I've really gotten into watching HSN and QVC, like especially QVC. I love watching on Mondays because it's PM style with Sean and she's just funny and entertaining and it's almost like watching YouTube. It's just like hanging out with a friend, talking about fashion and she always has the most fun shoes and these totally look like Sean shoes. These are not ones that I would go run a marathon in, but for a date night, they are perfect for that and they just have that fun, edgy vibe to them. So love those as well. And a couple of clothing items. This vest right here. 
is so adorable. I got this from HSN. So it's got these long fringy bits on the end and then it's got these little studs here and the grommets. This is so nicely made. This is by Labellum by Hilary Scott. So it comes in three different colors. I'm not sure what is still in stock, but I will link it for you. Um, this vest was originally, I believe, I can't remember if it was originally $80 or $100, but I got it on clearance for $20. So I don't know that I would have paid $80 or $90 for it. Well, I do know. I would not have paid $80 or $100 for it. But for $20, I absolutely love it. But the quality, that's what I'm trying to say, the quality is worth much more than $20. It's very, very nice quality. It is a faux suede, um, but it's really soft and feels like real suede. And honestly, I mean, if it's more low maintenance, I'm all for that. I like that it's faux. So anyway, love that. It's got that cute festival-y look on. Um, so I like wearing it with like a band tee or I might wear it with a maxi dress at some point. It's just that cute, um, that's one of the, my favorite styles. I love, I love boho. I love festival. I love edgy and sweet together rocker styles. Like all of that. I just love, I love creative fashion. So that's creative fashion for sure. This is like, I wouldn't describe this as creative fashion, but I would describe this as the perfect high low dress that is just going to, I mean, it's, such a good cut. So this is a classic that can really be like taken wherever you want to take it. So this is, is there something, did I get something on it already? Oh my goodness. No, it's good. We're good. Yeah, I think it's good. Is it good? Are you good? I can't tell if it's good. I'll have to examine it more closely later. But anyway, this is by Isaac Mizrahi. Got this from QVC. So this, I'll show you a picture. The cut of this dress is what's amazing about it and makes me love it so much. It comes in different colors. You have to see like which colors in your size are still in stock. I would totally order this in other colors if there were more colors in my size in stock, but I already have the two colors that are still there. So I got it in this green color and then black. It's got this princess seaming down the sides that is just so super flattering. And then it's got this cute little seaming detail at the bottom to give this sort of, um, sweet detailed hem to it this little bit of a a flounce and movement so it just cuts in on the body to look so feminine and girly but also i love the fabric on it it's a thicker kind of a fabric but still really soft it's a cotton modal spandex blend so it's just got some thickness to it where you don't have to worry about like every little thing showing it's just a little bit more um I don't, I wouldn't say modest, but just making you feel more confident and comfortable. At least for me, I feel more comfortable if a fabric just has a little bit more weight to it without being hot. It's not to that level. So anyway, I just feel like it is the perfect dress. Just the cut of it, the fabric, the look is so cute. It's cute, not belted. It's cute belted. It's just adorable. I'm obsessed with that dress. All right, guys. So those are all my favorites for this month. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you were loving this month. I would love to know that. Either fashion or skincare or hair care or makeup or whatever. I would just love to know your favorites for the month. Let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.